Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve question 40 of the GATE 2022 chemistry paper, which is based on ring closing metathesis, which is one of the organometallic reaction. So what we have to do is we have to identify the products P and Q. Okay, P and Q is what we have to identify. So what is the first step is let us draw the uh, reactant that is given first oxygen C double bond O nitrogen yeah, this entire bulky group is above the plane of the paper that is on the wedge bond okay so first of all what is given is LDA what is LDA LDA is a strong base lithium lithium diisopropyl amide Okay, amide here it is inorganic amide NH2 minus uh, instead of okay NH2 minus instead of hydrogen what we have is two isopropyl di means two isopropyl groups so what is isopropyl group like this three carbon and iso means iso means two methyl groups okay iso means same and methyl so this is i this is one isopropyl group di means there will be another isopropyl group Okay, what exactly is isopropyl ch ch3 ch3 this is isopropyl group or written as ipr okay and then there is negative charge and counter ion is lithium ion so this is a very strong base because it can easily abstract the acidic proton now which is the acidic proton here you can see this is the carbonyl carbon the carbonyl group ketone and this is going to be the acidic proton why this is acidic let we will see in a moment a okay, negative charge will be formed here that is a conjugate base now why this is uh, this hydrogens were acidic because this negative charge is stabilized by two factors one is resonance with this double bond that is it is allylic anion another reason is it is stabilized by resonance with the carbonyl group okay so we have got our conjugate base okay so or i can what i can do is i abstract this this will come here and this will open up a okay, car carbonyl group becomes coo single bond o minus and here there is double bond okay so this is the conjugate base that is formed now what is the next step next step is you react it with the alkyl bromide that is given okay this will come back and this will attack here and br will go away as a good living group Okay, so what we, we get is C double bond O, oxygen, nitrogen, above the plane, okay, C double bond O, like this. Now the important question is, what will be the stereochemistry of the R group? Okay, what will be the stereochemistry of the R group? So here you can see this group is above the plane of the paper so here there is steric hindrance so the r group will be attached below the plane like this okay below the plane we have one carbon two carbons one two carbons and then we have this double bond like this okay so below the plane so you can see from this first product this is p okay from this product we can eliminate which option we can eliminate uh two options here it is above the plane this is incorrect d is also incorrect here some uh here there is no stereochemistry mentioned this is completely different okay so a and b are the correct options now p is same what we have to now identify is a q product okay so q product is what we have to identify now so what what is this q product Catalyst is given. What is this catalyst? Grubbs catalyst. Okay, Grubbs second generation catalyst. It is. It was discovered by the scientist named Grubbs. That is why it is called as Grubbs catalyst. It is what it is a catalyst. And what happens here? It is. This is a open structure, right? So here, what will happen? A ring closing will take place. And that is why this reaction is called as ring closing metathesis. Okay, a cyclic ring will be formed in this reaction. So, what exactly happens here is 
the terminal double bonds these are going to react okay now how do they react you count you start counting from the terminal end of the one carbon of the double bond 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now what you have to do is you have to join this carbons okay two carbons will be less total there is seven carbon so there will be a formation of a five membered ring okay so what exactly will happen here is there is loss of ethene molecule okay from here what is lost is ch2 double bond ch2 okay, ethene is lost and there will be a formation of a five membered ring so let us draw the product now so what was the what was the compound p that we had got nitrogen here above the plane there is isopropyl group c double bond o below the plane there was this r group one carbon two carbon and three so what exactly happens in a ring closing metathesis is let us see the general reaction first okay so that we can understand better suppose there is this compound that is present Okay, there are two terminal double bonds so in presence of some catalyst let's say grubs catalyst okay grubs second generation so what happens exactly is found the total number of carbons one two three four five six seven and eight so two carbons will be less total there are eight carbons so a six membered ring will be formed i will number one two three four five and six and what will happen is here there will be formation of a double bond like this okay, between 2 and 7 okay so that will be a formation of double bond plus the byproduct is what ethene 2 carbon alkene that is called as ethene ethene is the byproduct so here also same thing will happen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay i have added an extra carbon sorry so here what is present is R group alkyl group is of how many carbons 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay 4 carbons so 1 2 3 and then here there will be a double bond like this so 5 6 7 total there are seven carbons so there will be a formation of a five membered ring like this double bond will be formed here and what will be lost is ethene molecule okay c double bond o o n now here above the plane there is isopropyl group c double bond o on the dash bond and where will you double bond form at the second and the sixth position like this so double bond is formed here okay so this is the product that we have got intermediate product now one more re reagent is remaining that is libh4 okay libh4 before that what we have to do is okay let us first do the reaction with libh4 what is libh4 lithium Borohydride is it is just like sodium borohydride or NaBH4. It also donates H minus ion or hydride ion. It is a reducing agent. So what will happen? H minus will attack here. This will open up. Okay. C double bond O becomes C single bond O with three lone pair negative charge. And here there is one hydrogen that is added from the hydride. Okay, this will come back and this is a good living group so this entire group will go away as a good living group what is a living group nitrogen having negative charge and this isopropyl group like this so what we have we are left with is aldehyde okay this entire thing goes away as a good living group so what we get is an aldehyde okay we will get this compound now will this reaction stop at aldehyde no we know uh, it will be reacting further and what we will get is we will get alcohol primary alcohol th2 this will become o minus and after workup it will become oh oh so this is a compound that we have got so you can see 
do we ha have any such compound here like this? Here, if you see, you can see this CH2OH alcohol group is on the alcohol is group is either on the uh, on above the plane or below the plane. So what we have to do here is we have to take care of the stereochemistry. Okay, that is what is going to we are we are going to do that. Here, this is a chiral carbon, so we will find out the absolute configuration whether it is R or S. Same will be the stereochemistry for the product. So we have to find out the absolute configuration. So how do you find out? Assign the priority to the groups attached. So you can see this is carbon. It's also carbon. Now here below the plane there is this ring. So there is one more group that is above the plane. What will be present? Above the plane there will be hydrogen. Okay. So three atoms are carbon. There is one hydrogen. This will get the fourth priority. This carbon, what which groups are attached? Hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay, to this group, to this carbon, which all groups are attached, double bond carbon. So carbon, carbon. Here there is one hydrogen. Okay, and to this carbon, which groups are attached? There will be two hydrogens and one carbon. Okay, so which will get the first priority? Oxygen has highest atomic number, so this will be one. Here there are two carbons, so this will get two. And then here there is only one carbon, so this is three. So one, two, 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 three, it is what? Clockwise. Okay, so it should be R, but you can see fourth priority group is on the wedge bond. So it should be S. Okay, it is S. Now what you will do, you take any one of the compound and find out the absolute configuration. Okay, any one of the product. Okay, I take let's say double bond. First one, let's say we take first one. OH again will assign the priority. Okay, this will get fourth TH two OH. So this will be one. This two, this is three. So one, two, 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 three. It is R configuration. So is this correct? No. Stereochemistry should not change. We want S configuration. So this is incorrect. What will be the correct answer? This one. Double bond below the plane there will be TH2OH and above the plane there is hydrogen. Okay, now again you assign the priority. This will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, it is clockwise, so it should be R, but fourth priority is on the wedge bond. So the correct answer will be what? S. So this is also S. Initial, uh, initially, what we had found out the product that was also S. So the correct answer will be that TH2OH should be below the plane. Okay, so which is the correct answer here? Correct answer is option B. Okay, the correct answer will be what? Option B. This is incorrect. Correct answer is option B. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.